Last night's snowfall no doubt made a few less egg hunts this morning, but it wasn't going to stop one Billings entrepreneurial teenager. Q2's Mitch Laggy tagged along with the local Easter bunnies last night on two of their 65 houses. It was a cold night for Madison Martinez and the Easter Bunny crew while they worked to hide 5,000 plastic Easter eggs jam-packed with candy to homes across Billings and Laurel. This year, we had a really bad time with people being like, I know it's super snowy out there, please be safe. Are you still egging my yard? And I'm like, yeah, we're going to be there. Just give us a minute. The team of around 10 Easter bunnies made all of their deliveries safe and sound. But the snow did provide a challenge in the hiding process. The main thing that I was worried about is honestly like leaving footprint tracks in the snow. But yeah, it's kind of impossible not to leave footprints everywhere. For the most part, enough snow fell to cover the bunnies' tracks. And on Easter morning, kids seemed to enjoy the hunt for brightly colored eggs filled with candy. Martinez said it seemed like this year, all her orders came right before Easter. And with COVID-19, her customers were rightfully concerned about sanitation. Cleanliness is top priority for Egg My Yard because its owner is considered high risk if she contracts the virus. I suffer from type 1 diabetes, Crohn's disease, and a heart condition. So I have a lot going on. I'm kind of a mixture. And at first I was like, well, I have to do Egg My Yard. Like these people are counting on me. I have a lot of repeat clientele. So Martinez needed to enlist the help of some friends to buy eggs and candy. And that's when I was like, Jesse, I really need you to step up. I need you to go get the eggs. I need you to do this, this, that. I remember before even getting out of that car to give like exchange stuff with Maddie, I quite literally Lysoled my entire body. I don't know if that's effective, but I did it. Martinez said she is thankful to the community that supported the business that she helped to start with a friend three years ago. There's no one out there that really could understand just how humbled I am with the support that I've been given from strangers, from family, from friends. People really have rallied behind me and behind my business, and I'm truly grateful. In Billings, Mitch Laggy, MTN News. Thank you, Mitch. Martinez is in her freshman year at MSU Billings studying psychology. She said she'd eventually like to become a clinical psychologist working to help kids that are chronically ill.